Hey kids, uh, welcome back. So um, in the last two videos, we learned how to represent decimals using the place uh, the base ten blocks. We also uh, learned how to multiply, how to represent the multiplication of a whole number, the number of groups times the decimal, right? Great. So on this last video, we're going to practice how to represent the multiplication of two decimals, right? You see that I told you before that the first factor tells you how many groups. Well, in this case, the group is not even complete. It's a decimal, right? So how do we represent that? That's the question. How do we represent that? So to answer that question, what we need first is one flat. That's going to be all we need to represent the multiplication that we will see in just a minute. So I have five tenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight five tenths. Let me use the color green. Five tenths. Uh, so let's do one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to color them all, okay? I'm going to shade them all, all the way down. But I need to go one at a time because uh, it's really difficult to do in the computer like this. So just bear with me, okay? Every single square that I'm coloring is 100. Remember, 100. It is 100. So I'm coloring 50 hundred, basically. It's okay. Um, I'll take my time here. 50 hundred. All righty. Let's see how long that takes. Almost, almost there. And there you go. Okay. So this is my one, two, three, five, tenth. Now look at this. For my 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 three tenth, the number inside this group, then I'm gonna I'm going to do them. I'm gonna use a different color. Let's use uh blue. I'm going to use them here. So I'm gonna one, two, three, right? Three tenth. And then I'm going to color three tenth across. So let me do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now pay attention to this part because this is the most interesting part. What is my answer? Where well, your answer is going to be that area, that segment of the wall that has both colors, blue and green. That's the section that overlapped. So overlap means that it went across, but at the same time it also went down. Like the five went down. And the three went across. So what numbers are those? How many hundredth overlapped? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So fifteen parts overlap. That's fifteen hundredth. Fifteen hundredth overlapped. And that's the answer. Okay, let's do another example really quick. Really quick. Uh, let's do 0 0.2, small number, smart, times 0 0.3, another small number, smart. Let's do green first. Let's do 2 tenths down, 2 tenths down, 1 tenth, 2 tenths down, and let's do 3 tenths across, right? So three tenths across, it's gonna be all the roof. Yeah, three tenths. Okay. One, two, three, and three. So my answer is going to be the only overlap region. The only region that overlaps, this is gonna be 0 0.2 here. And we 
have 0 0.3 over here. All right, so how many parts overlap? Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. 600, 600 overlapped. And that's the answer. There you go, it is. All right, so I hope you like this lesson. It's very basic, very basic. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than glad to help. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.